Welcome back to Mad Cardigan and our continuing playthrough of Fallout 4 Clear the Map. Here we are in a lovely good neighbor. Uh, that guy's dead on the ground. I think his name was Finn. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we're doing here today. I think we'll keep on going to Stay free. try to find the railroad, but let's uh, let's stop in and talk to one of the vendors first. Oh. New face walks into my store, and you're not that even is actually at. Deacon. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches you. One of the fancy. railroad guys always spying on you. He's in disguise. Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. Can't handle a friendly face, I say. So you need some supplies? Got any work? Check the I jobs. Do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. Big readers, are they? I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. Uh, let's give it a shot. Come on, Daisy. There we go. A little trick of uh, slapping on your charisma gear. Change clothes right in front of her. Boom. I don't think that's enough money to cover clearing out a whole building. Look, I've been shilling deals for two centuries, and well, you that just overplayed not worth your the effort. hand. The job's two hundred caps. Take it or leave it. Fine. You got a deal, Daisy. Thanks. Hey, while you're there, could you return this book for me? It's from the library. Don't even ask how long it's been overdue. How long has it been overdue? Hey, Daisy. If you hit upon something, don't bother telling me it's an heirloom. I'm probably older than whatever it is you're selling. Sure. Let's take a look. It's a little bit of everything. Check it out. At the very least, take her money. I can't remember if she has anything good or not. Mm, no suppressed weapons anyway. The old wraparound goggles. Much cooler looking than the, the welder's goggles. Uh, another chest piece. I'll take that leg. That's uh, I think those stack with the other one, so I'm like 20% faster now. It's always good when I'm running for my life. The chest piece was just against humans, and I hate those specific enemy type things, so. Let's see if I can't recoup some of my cost here pick this stuff up like candy it's nothing to get rid of it just keep a few for a rainy day and there you go got all your money back and then some you're blocking my light man <laughs> What do you need light for? Usually forget to do this. <laughs> Put my armor back on. Got quite a lot of uh, legendary gear here. As you go up in difficulty in this game, the, the percentage drops for legendary uh, gear goes up. So, harder you make the game, the better gear you get. Theoretically. Alright, later Finn. You know what? I'm about to go through a, a nice shitty area here. So it never hurts to have a buddy with you. When I say buddy, I mean a hairy buddy. Dogface, where you at buddy? The dog face soldier. Where is he? He's hiding. He didn't want to go with me. Don't blame him. Come on. It's dark. I can't see anything out here. I did send him here, right? Did I send him back to Sanctuary? I usually don't. Because he's even harder to find in Sanctuary. This is at least a small... But, God, even here it's hard. It's hard. 
Come on, man. Oh, there you are. Sneaky little mutt. Dog meat. Come on, boy. That's minus one teddy bear right there. I've lost count. I don't even know how many I owe him. Was that a super mutant I saw? Yes, it was. Let's get the hell out of here. These guys just show up out of nowhere. And I have no defenses or even settlers at this place to defend it. So you guys come on in and grab whatever you want. Just keep on moving. There's a few settlers just north here in Sanctuary if you want to go visit them. And they're all functionally immortal, so super mutants wouldn't have a great time up there. Mr. Deathclaw. Huh? Who was that? And who is shooting already? They're not shooting at me. What the heck are they? Oh, probably on one of those overpasses above me. Once you get into deep, deep town here, this is a multi-level place. There's people on rooftops and all kinds of stuff. Let's check and see what we can't get out of this legendary pup over here. What you got, buddy? Crit him. Despair. There's your friend. Okay, there you go. 70% chance almost. Miss one, miss two, miss three, miss. Alright, yeah. 70% miss three out of four shots. I'm maintaining that this update patch is screwed with rats. Made the AI more difficult. Like I said before, it's a good thing, but when you've played this game a lot, it's uh, you got to get used to it. Stuff that normally would go your way automatically is not. And that uh, martyr slows down time. I don't plan to be under 20% health unless I'm dead, which doesn't happen often, thankfully. Mm, it's my left. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a legendary on my right, so why not? Okay. Let's roll dog meat. Where are we going? I think there's some ghouls down here. Yep. Sneaky ghouls. Coming out of the garbage. Ooh, you scared me, dog. Spatula. Move. Bright red door. There must be something in here. This is just a bookstore. I don't think there's any really good loot in here, if any. And I'm pretty sure there's no enemies, so... This is just one of those little interesting side places. But, we are trying to be completionist here, so... Let's at least take a glance at uh, every, every landmark. I wonder if there's any overdue books in here. It's a bookstore would think. Not gonna spend a whole lot of time. Yep, it was all worth it. Got a desk fan out of this. Nice folded flag. Oh, okay. Guy died from eating bloat fly meat. Guess that's it. Alright, job done. I probably missed some fantastic thing I, I i've been in there a few times during playthroughs and never really looked that that hard in that place so if you guys know of anything special that i missed in there we can always come back Got nothing i need okay I'm trying to follow the freedom trail which is that red line on the ground building over here that's lit up so you know that's going to mean trouble Here's your buddy. Get 
those sneak shots always. Oh, pencil, he was a stoop. And screwdriver, he was a worker. Okay, I think one of these guys has a rocket or a missile launcher. One of those super mutants over there, so gets to be careful here. Don't get too silly, crazy, or quickly run over there. This is one of those little super mutant stronghold buildings here. Okay, he's kind of out in the open. Well, I wish I had suppressed guns here. Where's that pup? Yep. Nope, nobody saw me. I see you already. Oh, yep, there he is. Missile launcher. Critical. Not get missiles fired at us. Not this early. Hell, who sees me now? Oh, okay. Must be somebody on the other side of the building. I hear you grumbling over there. Mr. Grumpy. Okay. These guys had a, a bad time of it. They probably tasted the missile launcher wrath. Oh, there's more of you. Let's sneak a shot in there. Maybe. Host it. There you go. Not going in there. Just yet. Oh, I hear a suicider. Yes, sir, I do. Always shoot him in the right arm. They're carrying the bomb in the right arm. Oh, I see you got some money with you. They're regretting their decision to walk around with you now. It's got that one idiot Bob that runs around with carrying a nuke. Well, Bob. You're in pieces, and looks like a couple of your friends got taken with you. Get some new material. Good for sights and stuff. Got some decent stuff on it. Okay, continuing on. Sorry about my phone going off. Sneaky, sneaky. Keep being sneaky. There's just no room to maneuver in here when you're in between all these buildings. Old North Church. Now, I know that's where we need to go to see the railroad. And the line goes right, boop, to there. Balls, ghoul balls. Just having his coffee, wouldn't hurt anybody. Well, you are way over on the other side of everything, aren't you? I'm about to go in the basement. And if you don't take care of this guy, then he just becomes a marker on your, on your compass. So it's more of a, a nuisance. You know he's running around up there, but... Is he? I usually don't come and get this guy. Is that you? Yeah, there you are. Oh, and now I pissed off everybody downstairs. Can't win. Gotta get a silencer for this thing. Then all this becomes much more manageable.
Never understood the loot in uh, ghouls. Where do they cut? Oop, there you are. Just backing it on up, aren't you? The stuff, these just random stuff that they pick up. Oh, I see him through the wall, I guess. This. I don't remember that either. I, it seems maybe the patch had something to do with that too. It's like I'm seeing stuff through walls and stuff that I wouldn't have seen before. Because he wasn't activated yet. You know, he hadn't, hadn't moved or come out. It's very odd. It can be kind of disorienting when you, you're seeing stuff that, that isn't supposed to have appeared yet. Especially if you start taking shots at it and it's behind brick. Okay. Because I'm a genius, I already know how to do this puzzle. These brainiacs made their password railroad. Hmm. It spins. It spins. Hit the button. Oh. So it starts with R. Now you could have, if you followed that line, it would have taken you through all kinds of shit. But if you'd have followed that line all the way from its beginning to its end, it would have, you know, spelled out the password. So, if you play the game for the first time, then you're welcome here. I skipped a lot of folks, some raiders, some super mutants, to get here. There we go. All right, now we're in the secret here, uh, headquarters of uh, the railroad. I think there is a speech check coming up, so let's put on my fancy, fancy dancy suit. Stop right there. I knew you were there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting, but before we go any further. Answer my questions. Who the hell are you? I'm Batman. Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the Sims. Oh, here she only goes friends. with her speeches. We're the railroad. So answer my question. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? I'm wearing this gear. I might as well try it. I helped Carl out of a jam. You know Carl. He knows a guy who knows a guy, and, and they hooked me up with a lead. We'll look into that. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are Deacon. Where have you been? You're having a party. See, that's the bald guy meditation? that was walking around I a good neighbor, intel. recognizing who by the this? glasses. Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. I am. Yeah, I've been pretty busy. You know, you're practically famous. You're the one rebuilding the Minutemen out of Sanctuary, right? Mm -hmm. And, as if that wasn't enough, the railroad owes you a crate, hell, a truckload of Nuka-Cola for what you did to Kellogg. He was our public enemy number one. So you're, you're welcome, vouching man. for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? Mm -hmm. That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. Kellogg kidnapped him. Well, you got your revenge. But I that sure doesn't bring did. your son back. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah, yep. I know all about them. Fought a few already. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? 
even if that man is a synth? Cross your fingers behind it your back. It depends on the circumstances. There's no middle ground with this. Would you risk death to save a synth or not? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this and as any different. That didn't work out. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into the your countrymen story. then nuked everything. What the Institute has done to your family and others is what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got me a idiot savant on a quest. Come on, let me see. There we go. Got a level. Might make two, maybe? Nope. So close. What do we look? Oh, looky there. More powerful guns. We will definitely be taking that. That's a no-brainer. Hey there. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Asher, Your leader was not? just being cautious. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would Good consider day. it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. Yeah, no promises. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? I've heard a lot of things about you. Enough to want Passed to give a red. you a chance. Can't do the yellow. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. Yep. You got Since my you attention. guys have ballistic I got a weave, job. You Too got big me. for me. Just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Sounds like a plan. Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Okay. Let's get this armor back on. Always remember to do that. And my flannel. Or flannel, as they say. Flannel number five. back outside because they wouldn't let me into the headquarters yet then you can fast travel right into their headquarters but got to help out old deacon first pay my dues as they say you've always found something Okay, back to Drumlin. You know what I bet? Some shit's about to go down. Drumlin has become a, uh, a pit. I knew it. Look at that. Is this you? Don't have six dogs and a bunch of bugs trying to kill me. I'm beginning to think Trudy has started some shit in the past. Everybody's after her. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. Do you put the cat back Thank on the you. toothpaste? Do you need anything? Hell, do you even use toothpaste? Sure. Let's take a look. It's Money all worth replenish? every cap I'm charging. It did. I always have to think about what 
bullets I'm going to be using for now and in the future. So, got 800 of these things for my current gun. I think I can live without a few of those. Find some more guys with submachine guns and I will replenish that in a hurry. I think I can get this gun up to uh, 308 instead of 45. Oh, I will need those 45s for the um, spray and pray if I ever decide to use that thing. I need to use it at least a few times just to Look, man, I've been thinking show you guys. It's long, pretty funny. Long time. Everything kind of just blows you know up when you pull that trigger. Bullshit. Who are you guys? You can't just put something between Mikey. two pieces of bread and claim it's a sandwich. Does that mean a loaf of bread is technically a bread sandwich? Interrupting technically, a yes, but chef's you wouldn't need it all at like that, so it doesn't matter. Mikey and Moss. Hey, Talk all yes. You want, man. And you they won't react to me. Between two pieces of bread. These guys are really but passionate about their food. Well, just take your meds. What the hell would you call it then? Disgusting. That's what. That's kind of random. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody in that house before. Will you talk to me? Uh, <clears throat> huh? Nope. All right, fine. Your loss. If you're a bit of traitor out of taking all your money. Okay, where's there's Deacon? Change clothes again. You shifty Deacon? little bastard. Is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my power. Put your farmer's garbage, outfit on. Asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> Oscar worthy, <laughs> buddy. I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. I've seen about four of your disguises that, now, and there is no a face disguise. swap. A disguise is more than a wig and some lice ridden clothes. The clothes are clean. You'd be surprised how far I've gotten with the right attitude and a clipboard. But about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet Slocum's setup Joe. until the Institute found us. I like coffee there. It's another Tough diner, break, I think. And then some. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. Go on. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for right. rail signs. Point away. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. Now you just got to walk like along. Got you can run ahead, but signs, this mission drops, won't progress until Deacon walks all the way down this damn overpass. Got on. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. It's very so interesting. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Deacon is in no kind of hurry. Rail sign, right there. Yep, you are right. And I got some dead bodies by a campfire over here. And they got gold. Didn't even have a chance to reach for their pipe weapons. Uh oh. Can you handle that? You missed him from that distance. Well, I probably will too, but yep. 95%. Shot the crate. There we go. Coming dangerously close to shooting Deacon. I wonder if that would piss him off. I don't know if I've ever shot him before. Ooh, that was a rich ghoul. I'm a gold watch. See that? Just seeing things through the walls. Kind of takes the mystery away, doesn't it? Okay. Deacon, why don't you handle this? Why don't you earn your money? And another. We're probably close. 
He doesn't even give a shit. There are rules. Okay, now he sees them. I'll help you out. Because I do not trust you to handle it. Dog meat's more competent than you are. That's right. Shoot the bus. That's a nice group. Shooting the rail sign. Not bad. Come on, doggy. Yeah. See, that's how it's done. I'm going to get stuck in the stairs. Awesome. Uh, wait a minute. There was a suitcase up here. And I am a clothes hog. Give me that sea captain's hat. Damn it. Casual outfit. No. Come on, pup. Get on the way. Ooh, don't jog now. You're getting me excited there, Deacon. You actually moving. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally. I'm not afraid of heights. Good Lord. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. Okay. He starts talking about sex toys. This is going to be hilarious. Mine's in the shop. You have a Geiger counter? Oh, you okay, have a Geiger goddamn counters. Geiger counter? Mine is in my drawer. Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. This guy's a ray of sunshine. Tell me what's going on. I signed on for some light recon. But that little slocum's Joe of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches. The front like sports by the hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. Thank you. I appreciate all you've done. I wish he could oh, be a follower. Hell. He'd be hilarious. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Hey there. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? That's what I said. You think he's telling the truth? Very colorfully, he's he telling the truth. I think. The type. Yeah, that's my read too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. You okay? Let's move out. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Now, watch me. Here's how you do not jump off this edge. Uh, it's pretty close by. I wish if you had power armor, you could hop right off of that thing. But I don't. So I'm going to show Deacon what running looks like. We don't have to stroll the entire length. Ooh, I gotta get my cardio up. I am winded already. Okay. Cage over here. I think there's power armor, but I believe it's locked behind a terminal I can't get into. It's not the greatest power armor. I think it's like T60. Oh, and dogs. Bad dog. 95 shot miss. Nice. Always oh, double tap. Never trust Bethesda. Okay. Oop. Man, there's always more than two of you. Oh, me. Come on, man. And now you growl. Grr. Okay. Uh, yes, this is advanced. Okay, I can't do that. Okay, not a bad box. Have a chessboard in there as well. Checkmate. Okay, it's going fairly well. Not much terrible happening, but now we're about to go into a 
a synth stronghold, so this ought to be interesting. Secret hidey hole in the sewer. We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. We haven't met him yet, but Who's he's Dr. another Carrington? ray of sunshine. All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. Now, he said Gen 1s and 2s. Well, what can you tell me about the Gen 1s and 2s? I think those are those skinless models didn't start like we saw in Kellogg's brain. Copies of human beings. The Institute had to work up to that level of hubris. Gen 1s and 2s were stepping stones along the way. The railroad's not fully united on how we feel about them. Okay. Ready to go. First Ready to go. To override the security lockdown. Okay, before we get into this mess, I think we will go ahead and call it a part here. Thank you so much for joining me on Mad Cardigan, and we will see you in the next one.